So a lot of people have been asking what to do with roots or how roots grow when your plants get big in a veg. And I'd say that these kale plants and mustard greens are pretty, pretty big. I don't know if you guys can see, but just a leaf is the size of my forearm. Uh, that's great, great question. We get it all the time. So let me actually show you guys the root system in a red Russian kale. So these are the roots. You can see I'm pulling up and roots go down, roots go up because they're growing into the mustard greens and they're growing into that red Russian kale. So what you also notice is, well, it's getting dark, there is no water running through right now that's actively running. Um, if we did have water running through it at a really high stream, the water would back up, pour over the sides. So there's two options. What you can do is you can get a timer. So right now, this one's on a timer, and you just have to kind of play with the settings on it. Usually we'll do equal amount on, equal amount off. So hour on, hour off, or two hours on, two hours off. Um, the second option is, in your reservoir, <clears throat> in order to control the water flow, we put half inch valves on it. So you can adjust this, and it will divert some of the water back into the reservoir, while the rest of it, goes up to the top and down. Um, so if you don't want to do a timer and you have really big plants, you want a really, really small stream of water going through. So you'd close that valve inside your reservoir. Um, the other issue some people have is what do I do when I want to take, say I want to take this out and replant it. I have enough red Russian kale, right? Well, you can just cut the roots or you can just yank it out and the roots will eventually come out. And I'm gonna have to put the roots back in because I wanna keep it. But yeah, you can cut the roots. That's usually what we do. If they're too big and too intertwined, just right there on the side, just cut them and cut them and take out the plant, reuse the basket. Um, we compost most of our plants after we're done using them. Um, but yeah, that's how we control water flow with, uh, with bigger plants. Um, and by comparison, you can see this mustard green. Look at the roots on this butterhead. Just really small. They're probably never going to change or get much bigger than that. And uh, so, yeah, when you're planting your plants, do it strategically. If you have small butterhead, you're going to have smaller roots than huge mustard greens, huge red Russian kale. Tomatoes have really big roots. So good rule of thumb is bigger the plants, the bigger the roots. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps you guys out, and uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thanks guys, bye.